Good morning. Right, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery, Volume 4, Treasures. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, uh, this new prompt is um, love, basically. Um, I found this piece of fabric with uh, Je t'aime on it, which is I love you. So, um, yeah, that'll do. I'm thinking of... I want to do some work with felt. I don't know where to put this. I don't know where to put it there. I'm going to cut out some felt hearts, basically, um, in different colours. Um, I'm thinking the blue because there's a bit of blue there. I'm not sure about that one now. Um, also, I'll do a classic red one and maybe a pink one to pick out that pink writing. Um, I'm just going to go through my Sizzix guys, actually. I'm going to cut them on my Sizzix because it cuts things beautifully. There they are. I was going to say, I knew I had hearts somewhere. Now, I've got the classic hearty hearts, if you like. And then I've got the wonky ones, which I quite like, actually. Right, let's have a look. I keep my cutting things in a 6 by 6 scrapbook journal. So... I find it easier. Like those are going to be too big. I don't want them that big. Because, yeah, we've still got quite a bit to do. And I'm going to run out of room. I don't think I want the... Do I want the classic heart? I might do that one in a classic. And then a couple of blue ones. I think I'd like a... Well, my jet's three... I think I'd like a big one, maybe down here or something. I don't even know what you're seeing. Sorry, I just completely stopped the camera. Didn't even check where I am. <laughs> right, yeah, okay. I think that'll do, actually. Right, let's put those ones back. Um, yeah. It's the most glorious day here today. I've been out early. Um, I'm currently babysitting my daughter's dog. Not, not Hades. Um, my middle daughter has got a um, a puppy XL bully bulldog. We're still not sure about her. <laughs> she seems fine, but um, it's just a breed. They get a bad rep, don't they? But anyway, that's their choice. Um, yeah, so they've gone to London for the week. Uh, well, for a couple of days because they move next week. Or actually, it's this week. I keep saying next week. It's not. It's this week. Um, and it had all been pre-booked, so I said, well, look, you go, I'll look after the dog, and, uh, yeah, so that's that, really. I need a pink. I'm going through my scraps. I'm determined to use this bag of scraps. Um, a nice light pink. I do not want to have to get the big box down. No, they're not big enough. Leave that there, because I might um, could do purple. Oh, I won't quite fit. Darn. Uh, yeah, so basically I was out walking um, the dog this morning first thing. Um, I've got today off of work. I preempted it and booked the day off because I knew it would be such a rush. So, and they're back tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be hectic because I've got to work tomorrow. So I need to get her out. I'm back home here for eight o'clock to sign on for work. And then, um, hmm, okay. I might have to go into my big box, although I could just do a slightly smaller one, maybe. Where is that? Oh, I might just squeak that on there. I want to do a, I definitely want to do a pink one because there's that pink writing there. Definitely blue. And maybe we'll do a couple of that colour, um, that size. Right. Okay. Shove it all back in the bag. Yes, I have a lot of felt. I love felt. I love working with felt. 
and I've, I'm a bit addicted to buying the wool felt at the moment so which is a whole nother level of felt basically right okay I don't know how much we'll get done because I don't want to leave the dog for too long she is only a pup so although I sort of you know um her safely in her room basically so I'm rambling sorry right so that one yeah that one maybe we'll cut a pink and a blue right okay um let me just shove it over there got no room on my desk as usual oh clonk sorry that was really loud now then our leader Tim Holt said spray a little bit of water Will you go in? Thank you. And then do your... Right. I really need to get a spare pair of these. Spare... Yeah, a spare pair. That was English. Um, because when you start cutting fabric, it does leave fibres on the cutting mats. Right. right. You can go there. Stay. You guys, and apparently, I've been watching lots of videos. <laughs> apparently, the way the proper way to do it is to have it cutting up yeah, cutting upwards. I don't know, I don't know if it makes any difference or not, but apparently, it does. Just trying to line this up. I'll do the big one in a second. Are you going to go through? Yeah, just. It's quite disturbing when they make that creaking noise. No. Um, can I get you backwards? You're not supposed to do it twice, apparently, but I know I'm cutting through felt. Because if you do it with paper, it gives you a double. Right. If you see, yep, yeah, that's cut. And so it's that. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, it's done it on fabric as well. That's interesting. Yeah, it gives you like a shadow cut if you take it back through, like it's done there. So we won't get rid of the off cuts at the minute. We'll keep those um, because they make really nice. Well, not that one because it's more or less cut the whole thing. Um, but, you know, this. You can stitch that on as well, which I might do. I don't know. Well, to me, Wister. Um, not that one because that's just a little bit oh, misaligned my little heart. So I'll cut that one again with the big one. You went wonky, right? Okay. Right, you and you. What was I going to cut that out of? Brain's gone already. Was I going to cut that out of something? Me, 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 me. How do you know? No, I decided that was too big. Right, okay. <laughs> right, let's just cut a little blue one because I'm starting to lose the plot already, obviously. Oh, wrong way round. You need to go on there. You need to go on there. This time you need to cut properly, please. That doesn't work, Mr. Holtz. That's better. That's got it. Again, they make quite nice little stitch arounds. So I'll hold on to those for now. Right. We've got one, two, three, five, right. Got to move those, otherwise. Right, well done, little scissics. Okay, you can let go now. Thank you. Right, back to normal. 
<laughs> there. Yeah, I'm quite tempted to use these actually. Oh, again, excuse me. I did have a very good night's sleep, so I apologise if I yawn a lot. It's awful you staying in somebody else's house. You um, and she's right on a main road, so of course she just got constant noise and, and different. Because where I live, it's just you know, you don't hear anything at night. It's very quiet. So I might put that one on there because that kind of blue matches in right. I don't need it that big, so let's chop you down a bit. Oh, this is fabric from the lovely Connie. I think I, I think it was I made your granddaughter's sewing books out of this, didn't I? Oh, come on! Oh, you didn't want to tear, did you? So if we put that there, that one there, that one there, because that's the blue side. And one there, one there, one there, what do you reckon? It's quite a pleasing arrangement, isn't it? I like that. Okay. And then that one there. I'm not sure about that one now. I might cut some more and, um, you know, just the solid shapes, I think. I'll think about that one. Right. Okay. Um, I need. Shall I just glue those? Um, yeah, nom, nom, nom. I think what I'll do is I'll sew those first. Bear with me. I'll be back with you in two secs. Right. Sorry. I didn't have any sewing threads or needles or anything ready. So um, what I'm going to do is stitch around the word with, with, I might just do simple running stitch actually. And then go a little bit more elaborate on the felt so I've got this um, silk thread it's I've got three of them and I've never stitched with them before but whoever had them before me stuck blooming sellotape on them and this one's quite badly marked so I'm going to be careful when I pull it off um, but yeah I've never I've never tried stitching with it so today's the day so I've got this lilac-y one because that goes really nice with the pink background there so I don't know if it's going to have a mark on the actual thread. I'm looking. I can't see at the minute. Okay. That should be enough. Yeah, I might just do simple running stitch. And then um, what I might do is refer back to my Sue Spargo book um, and get some inspiration for some uh, decoration on the hearts. Um, I'll just stitch the wording down. So I say I must get back to this puppy because she's only um, seven months old. So she's the size of a Labrador already. She's going to be massive. <laughs> she really is. But she's very gentle. She's a gentle giant. So she was desperately trying to play with a spaniel down at the river where I took her. And um, she scared the spaniel, basically. <laughs> it ran off squeaking. It didn't... Uh, she is going to be a big dog, but they are training her. She's she, you know, she doesn't run off and she stays to heal. But she's desperate to play with another dog, bless her. So I said to my daughter, "You're going to have to try and find somebody with a a dog of a similar breed, or because the trouble is, she's such she's like a walking bulldozer. You know, she really is." She doesn't understand her own strength. I mean, she comes and lays on my lap and it absolutely kills me. She's got boniest elbows. I'm like, no, you have to get off, darling. So, um, yeah, she's a big girl. Am I going to remember where they are? Can you remind me? All right, pink, blue, mm, yeah. I'll tell you what I can do. All right, hold on. I've got me 
glue pen here and the felt sticks beautifully on a glue pen that's a bit yucky let's just clean that off um yeah as i say she's uh she's not aware of her own size at the moment bless her which i think happens with a lot of big dogs doesn't it they they don't realize just how big they actually are but if i just stick those tops because i really like that placement and i can flop that up um to get to the fabric underneath right this is the bowen glue pen by the way if you're new to all this malarkey right are you going to stitch nicely or are you going to be a pain in the you know what we shall find out um am i staying in screen yeah good okay yeah i think just very simple I want to stick that down a bit because um, I don't want it going wonky. Hold on. Yes, yeah, so it's gone wonky already. Yeah, I say tomorrow's going to be a little bit crazier. So I might take the works laptop to her house actually and see if I can work from there until lunchtime and then. Because I, I don't know what time they're back. I think it was quite late. So I might stay there all day actually with her. And then uh, just load up my cat's bowl. And then um, she'll be alright for the day. I might get back about 10 o'clock tonight. Or tomorrow night rather. She's pretty good Mackie. I was going to have the dog here but being a pup I mean she lives with cats because my daughter's got cats but um yeah she's a bit she's a bit much Mackie's you know quite well she's getting on a bit now because she's well nine this year actually so um and she's a grumpy mare anyway so I haven't told her that I'm dog sitting this coming weekend yet I still haven't told her <laughs> she'll be fine and the dog's come in here as well, but she's lovely, lovely dog. Absolutely no trouble at all. Lives Again, lives with a cat. I think it's easier, you know, if they actually live with a cat. Because she just, you know, Mackie will give her a... <laughs> and that's it. And Willow just, you know, backs right off, so... Just really simple run and stitch here, trying to keep it nice and neat and even if I can. Missing my leather thimble, which is conveniently at my daughter's house where I left my stitching. <laughs> that reminds me, I must take pins with me. I've got to take pins again. Is sewing beautifully. I thought it was going to be a pain and keep breaking, or you know, sort of feathering, or you know, just being a pain basically. But it's actually doing really well, so it's all good. Come here. I'm so used to little projects, it's really, um, it's hard to get your grip on your fabric where you want to be. Come on, I've just said how amazing you are, don't start being a pain again. Or don't start being a pain I should say.
when I, I um, my daughter's my middle daughter's dog's called Phoenix, and when I went down the river with her this morning, first thing, um, Caroline was there with the giant Hades, and um, it took him a minute, but then he realised, oh, it's Nanny, so um, he come running up, and then um, I said to Caroline, I'll I'll shoot off now, and um, he laid down and sulked <laughs> until I got out of view. It's almost like, how can you have another dog with you? Two timer. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> she said he was all right. Once she turned the corner, he got up and carried on. But um, yeah, he was whining for me, apparently. <sighs> Naughty nanny. What a traitor. Ow, that was my finger. Oh, that's good to know somebody loves you, even if it's just a dog. Well, I say just a dog. I mean, they don't give their love easy, do they? They know who a soft sucker is, and that's me. I'm the one that sneaks them a little bit of toast and things like that, you know. I'm the naughty nanny, because I can be. <laughs> wow, that's sewed beautifully. Wow. Impressed with that. Come on, go through. It's quite a tough old fabric, this tablecloth. Hopefully you'll stay. It's been silk. I don't know whether you will or not. I took off far too much thread. Let's have a quick look see. Well, it's going to be quite pretty, isn't it? Cool. And then that leaves me plenty of room. I mean, I'd, I'd just say oh, we don't know what the prompts are yet, but you know, I can still fit something in here. And if we don't put something in there, I can just um. Oh dear, excuse me. Uh. I can just do some stitching, decorative stitching and stuff like that there. I'm going to use this to do some little little something somethings on there because this is flapping and that is a little bit flappy too. So let's, um, let's do some stitches. Let's see what it's like with a bully or not. I'm hoping it'll be really pretty. Um, there we go there. Had to think how to do it then. Should be long enough that needle. Oh, come on, go through, thank you. It's very, very fine. Are you going to wiggle through? Because I haven't got a milliner's on. Sometimes the tail gets stuck for some strange reason. I don't know why, but that's not the issue. Okay, what's occurring? Maybe I wound it a little bit too tight. I think it's formed a knot somehow. Oop, hang up. No. Okay. 
I give up. <laughs> you obviously don't want to play. That's fine. But I still want to do some stitching there, so you are going to have stitching. Um, threads. we do which that mustard might be quite nice of colour this is a weird and wonderful thread don't know about that one this is a thick crochet cotton but that could make a really nice big Right, let's try it. Um, nice big bullion flower, I'm thinking. So I do need a melanus though. Pretty sure you're one. Yeah, that looks milliner needle-ish. What did I do with that other one? Oh, here we go. Ah. It's quite chunky. Let's see how it goes. You don't know until you try these things. I think I've got a hope in hell's chance of getting that through there. one ah. <laughs> stay still no cats here can have a visit any minute no. if I cheat and take that off Hi, cat. She's quite funny when I don't come home at night. <laughs> it's almost like she greets me in the morning. She's like, where do you think you've been? Hmm? Where do you think you've been? You weren't here? No. Ah. Been out, have you? It's, yeah, it's almost like having your mother greet you. I'm not going to wrap the tie. I'm not. I'll do 20. I think that's how it's supposed to go. I lost count. <laughs> I'll do. <laughs> Come on. Come on.
caught up with that um, Sarah Humphrey thing that she did uh, stitching around the world last night. That was um, it was really interesting actually to see what people make and do and how you know how lovely for her that she's so influential. Yeah, it was really nice to watch actually. Because my daughter's TV was frying my head last night. It's all run through an Xbox. I don't understand Xboxes. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Right, let's count. Yeah, so you have to sort of use the Xbox controller again, which fries my head. It used to when the kids had a games console when they were teenagers. I used to watch them playing it and I'm like, how, how, how do you do it? How do you push so many buttons and, oh, yeah. That's why they're so good on mobile phones and things, isn't it? Because I've never learnt the two thumb, you know, the two thumb method on the phone. That's just amazing when people sit and do that. Yeah. I don't have that much dexterity, obviously. Right, one more here, and then we'll... No, I don't want you through there. Through there. Are you through that thread, you naughty thing? Come on, out. Right. Be 18 on that one because I'm running out of thread and I don't want to have to put a new one on. No, 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 no. Oh, I think my pliers are downstairs. <sighs> we were moving bookshelves yesterday, so we couldn't get the prongs out. So I said, Oh, I said to Eleanor, go up and get me pliers. I think I've left them downstairs. Come on. Right. One more. We'll do a centre and then I'll let you go. And then I'll come back and I'll do those hearts. Which will probably be later in the week because I've got a three day work week this week. Oh my god, it never stops, does it? I said before, I'll say it again, I must have been wicked as a child because there's absolutely no rest. Even though I've had a week's leave. I was telling my daughter yesterday, I said, I've had a week off, but I just don't feel like I've had any time off at all. She said, well, it has been a busy week. She said, you had my birthday before and then your birthday at the weekend. And then, you know, all the other stuff that's gone on, you know just life basically so, so yeah i suppose so when you think about it like that it's just it is what it is isn't it so come on come on Just about made it with the thread chicken there. Ooh, spider. Right, let's do some uh, French knots now. I think I might do them in the blue if I've got blue. Let me grab my box again. Mixture of blue and purple. Determined to use these up. I'm going to try and store mine in the skein from now on, I think, because um, they do crease terribly, don't they, on these things.
not too bad if you don't wrap them too tight and it's not too creased that one I'm only going to do a couple of French knots I might do all six strands actually and they can be quite chunky ones then aren't they chunky monkeys need need with quite a big eye you will do the other thing I'm really bad at is not putting them back in their categories the needles so I don't know which one I mean it's probably a chenille by the looks of it but I don't know I'm very naughty for not um, putting them back in their cases I think I saw it might have even been Sarah she did a like a little booklet thing for keeping all your needles in the right places I don't know I'd have to have a look just do a double wrap see how we go Sorry, dragging it into me again. Ah, let it go. Is it going to work? Yes. I'm not supposed to let go. <laughs> oh well. Well, come on, work with me. I sometimes think I'm going to put it in a hoop or in a frame, you know, to be able to work on it. But then I change my mind. So, but I think it would be easier. Especially with the size of this piece of fabric, I don't know. Where am I catching that one? Why are you so long? Ooh. I'm going to do the same with the blues and that might be quite pretty and that will hold that corner down then that will stop that flapping all over the place like it is at the moment You did not want to go through there, did you? I'm contemplating a lazy daisy, that's why I'm hesitating. Just wondering if that will, sorry, I can't tell if you can see, and if that will look better rather than just another French knot. Oh, let's just do French knots. We can always put in lazy daisies later if it looks a bit pants.
I'm going to go back to my daughter's and um, I might sit in the garden and do some stitching. I might take my little um, tripody thing, maybe do a bit of filming there. So I'm just doing, um, I don't know what you call them really, so just big pieces of slow stitching basically. So uh, nothing exciting I suppose. But I like it, it keeps me busy, stops me getting bored. Try and come up the middle there. That's fine. Again, I can always add maybe some lazy daisies coming out of there, but all right. Okay, I've got a couple of sewing jobs to do on the machine, a couple of orders, so I need to do that and then scoot off and carry on babysitting this afternoon. But like I say, I might, uh, might try and do a video in the garden. All right, so let me no cat behind me that's all good so yeah that's it for now so just did the running stitch as you saw i will come back and stitch on the little hearts i think that's going to look quite effective and then that's the weird bullion flowery thing which has not gone through properly Right, I'll sort that out in a minute. Um, yeah, so there we are. Like I said, I might do some lazy daisies in there just to sort of fill that out and bulk it out a bit. Right, sorry, it's a bit of a short one this time, but um, yeah. Coming on, I've made a start. That's the main thing. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.